Hey honey bunches, welcome welcome back to another video. My name's Phoebe, if you're new I'm vegan and gluten free and I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Um, this week was a Sunday to Friday, we're just gonna work with that. Um, I wasn't feeling like doing a whole bunch of cooking this week, lost a bit my mojo along the way, but in hindsight they made some pretty delicious things so I think it's worth sticking around. For breakfast on Saturday, I had some frozen mango and passion fruit in the freezer. So I whacked that in the blender with a banana and some coconut yogurt and some plant milk. I think that was everything. So refreshing. You've seen me make this before. Tastes like some tropical ice cream. Well, you're pretty easily transported to a tropical place. <laughs> um, then, as like a lunch, a uh, breakfast part two, had almond butter and jam on one piece of toast and avocado on another piece. Then I tried this yo uh, this yogurt, come on peeps, um, this milk, which is hemp milk. And I so badly wanted to like it, but it just tastes like liquid cardboard. I'm not joking. Um, obviously it's great for the environment, but, and also it's fine in cooking. That's how I've used it up, like in baking and whatnot. But no, I didn't like it. it didn't satisfy me at all. Um, yeah, very earthy. And I snacked on some nuts, some like cinnamony nuts that we had, and a bit of avocado. I really like avocado. I know it's not for everyone, but sometimes when you want a snack and it's the only thing in the house, that's what I go for. Then lunch was using up this to uh, this soup I made, and I had baba ganoush and vegan mozzarella toasty. Um, <laughs> then I marched on some of these gluten-free wafer rolls. Um, they're not that great, but look, interesting to try. I splurged and bought some cassava flour recently, and this was the first um, recipe I made. I made some cassava wraps just from the recipe on the back of the pack. Um, cassava is known to be like a one-to-one -one gluten, like wheat flour substitute. It, it, it doesn't have like the gluten stickiness, so it is a bit more prone to falling apart, but um, like taste wise it's incredible, it's slightly sweeter than gluten, um, but in like mouthfeel ew, it does have um, that sort of chewiness that I guess gluten has. I made my lentil potato dal roti wrap thing, plop on some rocket um, coconut yogurt to have with the cassava wrap, it was great, loved it, um, loved being able to relive that recipe. Had my kind of standard acai smoothie I have in like every single one I ate in a week. Um, then I was doing a lot of cooking Sunday morning. I snacked on these grapes that taste a bit like candy floss. Fairy floss is what we call it. Uh, yeah, I made a batch of my banana bread, thumbprint cookies and a caramel slice you saw. Then this, I wanted to use up some sausages we had in the freezer. Um, so I found a recipe, not a vegan one, for like Thai sticky chicken meatballs. I squirted out the <laughs> sausage mixture and mixed it with everything else you saw there. I had like gingery, um, spring oniony notes, made like a tamari sweet chili gingery sauce. Had it with rice and we had some mum <laughs> had been given a uh, half a massive cucumber from someone's garden so we had that with it and it was glorious. I mean the texture for a meatball uh, in vegan gluten-free land is quite hard to achieve. I've achieved it with like lentils in like my Swedish meatballs, but this also did it too, so maybe expect a recipe coming soon. Um, had a bit of my caramel slice then for dinner. My brother made this no noodle pad thai, which is a favorite of his from the Green Kitchen Travels cookbook. I went to the beach for a swim, first swim of the summer. I know it's like March. And then came home, had the pad thai, had a cup of tea and another piece of caramel slice. Monday, the standard acai smoothie, semi woke me up, did it? Yes it did. <laughs> had a piece of my banana bread toasted with a bit of vegan butter on it, yum, morning tea, thumbprint cookie, um, and then I had the leftovers of that roti potato situation. I know rocket isn't like Indian or anything, but it works really well with that. Um, had some more caramel slice, snacked on some of these veggie chips, bit of comfort eating here because I wasn't the happiest self on this Monday. Um, but I managed to make a quiche with lots of spinach and topped with vegan cheese and a bit of garlic oil drizzled on top. Always makes it ten times better. I was going to my Auslan class, Australian Sign Language, and it's from like six till eight, so not prime learning time for me. So I put a bit of elderflower cordial in my water to sort of pick me up and it really helped. 
this quiche was so good definitely one of my better ones it's based on the recipe in my third cookbook i just sort of plumped it up to make it a bit bigger and lost the shell um, there's some snacks i had on the car on the way home had some more quiche when i got back and that was monday tuesday i made some porridge with a bob's red mill um grain-free porridge mix that's pretty standard i have it in most what i ate in weeks had some banana bread for morning tea had some more veggie chips um, which are mainly sweet potato and had the leftover quiche with some more broccoli broccolini pardon me <laughs> and some ketchup or tomato sauce on the side tuesday can't remember what i was doing but i was heading out so i just prepped some cauliflower and carrots to roast had a piece of caramel slice before i headed out and then um my mum cooked up some cindy and sausages and garlic bread to have as well not very green lol um but mum always said growing up that cauliflower is just like a green but it's white so i don't know obviously it doesn't have the phytonutrients anyway i don't know what i'm talking about in that department had some porridge and banana bread for breakfast on wednesday had some sushi after being out and about um then another piece of caramel slice and tea after that and then this was a highlight i made um nigella's mexican lasagna which is just like an enchilada but in stacked form it was very cathartic to make you just make a tomato type sauce with some coriander stalks in there which definitely made it pop and made it way better than just a what you might expect it would taste like then it's predominantly just black beans and corn and cheese in the layers which i was like that's a bit boring but actually all the flavors although simple were really delicious um and it was really yeah really great already said that <laughs> unexpectedly humbly wonderful thursday uh same smoothie then oh same banana bread situation um, then i had the left i was doing lots of cooking on thursday sorry forgotten how to speak four fifths of the way through the vid um yeah i had the leftovers of the mexican lasagna munched on a few of these crispy vegan gluten-free rice wafer things for the heaven i veganized um nigella's mint no not mint lime and chocolate cheesecake which has like cashews and well i put cashews and vegan cream cheese in the top um cheesecake filling although get ready for a lol i was doing so much cooking that i just didn't like take out the cheesecake when the buzzer went off or the timer i just thought it was some for something else or like an unnecessary timer so i think it had an extra hour mm. that was error two error one was i didn't put it on a tray and sort of weird stuff leaked into the oven joy um i also made this majara i think it's called from the jerusalem cookbook oh and heck this is a really great like middle easty um style of rice and beans except with lentils and rice and crispy fried onions on top hello yum they were great um this is really good and then we had a bit of cauliflower and leek and stuff so i made a little gratin with some garlicky breadcrumbs on top that was heaven um and yeah had it with the majara and also like a lentil nut meatloaf which is in a video coming soon so you'll have that recipe that was really good with some cranberry sauce i know like 50 shades of brown here i know but anyway yeah <laughs> friday uh had porridge again then i was having brunch with a friend and had this incredible um what is it smashed avo with like vegan feta and baked chickpeas and a beetroot dip and grated courgette that was fab um had a tea and some caramel slice and i was pretty full till dinner so i just had um yeah things for dinner some <laughs> rosemary chips we had and then a kind of repeat of the night before with the nut roast i made some parmesan green beans and a potato salad i was gonna make gravy but i ended up shaking it all over the kitchen because the lid wasn't on when i decided to have a shake <laughs> um, then we had some of the cheesecake and a lovely sepia style yellow shot to finish off the vid yay thank you for watching honey bunches hopefully you got something out of this or it was relaxing and cozy lots of love and i'll see you in the next video bye